Car prices have been soaring over the past three years, creating the largest car price bubble in history. Experts are now warning us that we're on the brink of something even more significant. Prices are now dropping after hitting historic highs in 2022. If you're a buyer looking for a newer used car, it's a better time to buy now than it was six months ago. The most substantial car price crash in our lifetime. Here's what's going on. There's suddenly a flood of cars entering the market just as people are becoming less interested in buying them. This means the sky-high prices we've seen recently can't last. And it's not just about brand new cars. Even used ones are affected. In fact, some car models have already seen their prices drop significantly in 2023. We've gathered some eye-opening data and listened to experts who are giving us some straightforward and honest forecasts about the car market crisis that's happening all around us. So the big question is, how did we get here and what's coming next? Let's dive in and find out. In the current situation where a large number of buyers are finding it increasingly difficult to afford cars, a market crash seems inevitable. The real question isn't if it will happen, but rather when it will occur, as analysts have been warning us. What's clear is that a significant correction has already begun. However, what's even more concerning is that the impending collapse is predicted to be even more severe than anything we've experienced before, even worse than the auto market crisis of 2008. Supply chain issues have eased a bit, allowing more cars to become available, but here's the twist. We've gone from having too few cars to having an excess of inventory flooding the market. The sudden abundance of cars is causing their values to drop much faster than anyone expected. According to a recent report, global car production is expected to surpass sales by 6% this year. This means there will be a surplus of 5 million vehicles that will need to be sold and to make them more attractive, prices will have to be slashed. One of the most significant examples of this is Tesla, which has recently cut the prices of its new cars significantly. For instance, the Model X has lost over $14,000 in value, which is a whopping 23% since the beginning of the year. Even Tesla's used cars are not immune to this downward trend. Take the Model 3, for example, which has seen its average price drop by a staggering $11,275, going from $51,251 to $39,976 in just one month. So, we're in the midst of a major shakeup in the car market, and it's affecting both new and used cars. The big question now is how will this impact consumers and the broader economy? In 2022, if you were in the market for a used Infiniti QX80, you would have found the average price to be around $52,874. Fast forward just one year and the picture is quite different. The average price of this big Infiniti SVU is a used car market has dropped by nearly $12,000 and is now sitting at an average of $41,094 in April. That's a steep 22.3 decrease in just a year. And it's not just the Infiniti. Other popular models are in line for significant price reductions. Take the new Nissan Frontier, for example. It's currently priced at around $39,833, but experts predict it will drop to $27,146 by the end of 2023. The used car market is expected to be even more unpredictable. Researchers are forecasting that a three-year-old Toyota Camry, which is currently selling at $27,404, could plummet to $16,548 by the end of the year. Now, if you recently bought one of these used models at a higher price, there's not much relief in sight. While the price drops we've seen so far are already quite significant, it's essential to understand that used car values have surged by a staggering 88% since 2020. So, brace yourself for some pretty harsh declines in car values over the next few months. It's not just cars. We're seeing a correction in various asset bubbles, including stocks and housing. And now, the car market is showing signs of a crash. To make matters even more uncertain, there are unpredictable external factors that could make things even messier, especially if we slide deeper into a recession. In these turbulent times, the smart move is to continue protecting ourselves while we weather the storm. It might be best to wait for the dust to settle before making significant financial moves in the car market or other sectors. The good times in the used auto lending industry seem to be fading away. Some prominently used auto lenders are facing a double whammy, a surge in failed loans and heightened regulatory scrutiny. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has taken legal action against several lenders over what it sees as potentially predatory practices. The trouble started to emerge when American Car Center, a lender that caters to customers with troubled credit histories, suddenly shut down its 40 dealerships and filed for bankruptcy in late February. The impact of American Car Center's closure in Memphis is still being felt, especially as the company had filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy protection. This unexpected move has left both employees and customers in a state of confusion and searching for answers. Adding to the confusion, when customers try to contact American Car Center, they receive an automated message stating, your account with American Car Center and American Finance has been transferred to Westlake Portfolio Management. Many customers who had dealings with American Car Center are left with questions, particularly concerning temporary tags they may have received through the company. 
is a challenging and uncertain situation for all those involved. Since the year 2020, the total amount of auto loans in the United States has surged by 28%, crossing the $1.5 trillion mark. This makes auto loans the fastest growing type of consumer debt. Lenders bundled these loans together and sold them to investors on Wall Street, often marketing them as safe and secure investments. They went so far as to package bonds containing $76 billion in subprime loans by 2020 in 2022, with the belief that most borrowers would continue making their payments. With pandemic assistance programs coming to an end and the Federal Reserve increasing interest rates multiple times, more and more Americans are funding it challenges to keep it up with their auto loan payments. In other words, what was once considered a safe and profitable investment in auto loans is now showing signs of stress and risk, with many borrowers struggling to meet their financial obligations. As the UAW labour strike unfolds, it is still uncertain how long it will last or which car plants will be affected. But one thing is clear, consumers are getting increasingly anxious about how it will impact their ability to buy new or used cars or even get their existing cars repaired. The strike has the potential to have far-reaching consequences for the entire US economy and JP Morgan's analysts are sounding the alarm. They caution that if the United Auto Workers Union sacrifices a significant wage increase, they're aiming for a 40% raise over four years, it could set off inflation in various industries, causing consumers to feel the economic pinch. To illustrate how this could impact everyday people, consider the higher car prices alone could contribute an additional two percentage points to the monthly consumer price index. The CPI measures the increase in prices for everyday goods and services, and in this case, it's because transportation costs include cars make up about 16% of the CPI. If new car prices skyrocketed at a time where there's already a shortage of cars on the market and there's a significant wage hike for workers, it could quickly reverse the recent decline in inflation numbers. And to make matters more challenging, oil prices are also on the rise, potentially hitting $100 a barrel. This is problematic because higher oil prices can lead to increased costs for nearly everything. So at the moment, we're grappling with the possibility of even more inflation, which is far from what everyone needs, especially with gasoline prices already surging across the United States. The United Auto Workers Union strike isn't affecting just one or two automakers. It's impacting three major ones, General Motors, Ford and Stellantis. What makes this strike particularly significant is that it's the first time all three of these major automakers have been hit by a strike simultaneously. More than 12,000 workers have walked off the job, demanding improved pay and benefits. Currently, their focus is on one assembly plant at each of these companies. Why does this matter so much? Well, these three automakers collectively amount to 43% of all new cars sold in the US. That's a massive share of the market. So if this strike persists for a few more weeks, it could seriously disrupt the supply of popular vehicles and lead to a surge in car and truck prices. The impact could be significant for consumers. What are your opinions about the current economy? Let us know in the comments section. If you liked our video, hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time.